everyone, I'm the Helping Kid and welcome to our journey where we explore snakes. There a quick reminder, merchandise will be dropping at 250 subscribers. So share the video to all your snake, snake loving friends and maybe even those that are a bit scared of them because we could help them over that fear. But remember at 250 subscribers there will be two sets of merch, namely my logo merch and my intro merch. I won't quite give away what that is, but I'm sure you've worked it out. And then you'll be able to buy the merch and get your very own Herb and Kid shirt. <laughs> so the long-awaited Q and A. Yeah, some of you hit, um, submitted your questions in the comments and even on Instagram. I appreciate it. And we'll get right into it with the first question. So the first question is by Mama Lordy underscore 16 in on the comments on one of my YouTube videos. And the question is, what will your next series on YouTube be? This is a very good question. I actually have thought about it a little bit and I'm still not quite sure. But maybe a myth debunking series, not just myths as in pictures showing snakes or showing text and snakes and saying for instance if the snake's head shape is like this and its eye is like this then it is venomous and if it is not then it is non-venomous with we could do something like that and every episode i'll debunk one or two different pictures and explain why it's false if you guys would like that, say yes or yeah. The next question is by Arensa HD on YouTube. And it is, when did your passion for snakes start? I've had this question before in a different Q&A, but I'll answer it again. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I think it was probably when I was four or five, maybe even a little bit older than that, but what happened was I mainly started really having a big big passion for snakes this year earlier this year it was when there was a little brown house snake in our yard and I knew it was a brown house snake because I already knew how to identify some snakes because I want to be a field guide so I need to be able to do that so I picked it up with my hands and I was like this feels awesome just picking up the snake and I thought it would probably feel even better if it's a venomous snake or any other snake even. Or it would feel awesome. Which it does, it really does. Speaking of feeling or venomous snakes, catching venomous snakes, I am most likely, most likely, not 100% sure yet, but most likely going on a snake catching course on the 27th of September. I will, if I do, I will film it. I won't do any uh, live commentary while filming it because it is a course. I can't just film because there are other people there too. I'll do a live commentary. I mean, I won't do a live commentary. I'll do bits and pieces in between where I comment on what I was doing or what's going on. And it should be really cool. And if you're asking yourself, but haven't you already done a snake course? I have. I've done one. There are three with the snake course and awareness uh, providers that I do the courses with. There are three different courses. There's the snake first, first aid and awareness course where you do a little bit of snake catching at the end. There's a snake boot camp where you learn a whole lot of different things and it's a full day of catching snakes. And then there is the advanced handlers course and that you learn how to handle a black mamba and even neck snakes, which I'm super excited for. But I'm doing the second one, which is the boot camp. Should be really fun and I will film it and I'll publish it on YouTube. This next question is by Physically Investigated on YouTube. Physically, investi physically Investigated and I have actually done a collaboration. If you want to check that out, it'll be in a card up here. It was super fun and yeah, but his question is, are you going to another country to do a snake show? 
So what I'm assuming you mean is just fly to another country and go out into the wilderness of that country and catch snakes and tell you guys about it. If you mean that, once I'm old enough to travel by myself, by that I mean completely by myself, so once I'm an adult, <laughs> um, I will certainly do that, definitely, for you guys. And I'm sure it'll be lots of fun. If that's, what, if that's not what you meant, comment down below and I'll try answering the comments for you, Physically Investigated. So this next question is by my good friend Caleb on Instagram. This was the only Instagram question and also the last question. It, the question is, what got you into snakes? Now by that I'm assuming you mean, what got me into catching snakes? Honestly, I just told you the passion, that's not exactly the same reason, but what got me into catching snakes was I wanted to help people that couldn't necessarily do it themselves. For instance, if there's a black mamba in your house, you can't catch it. I wanted me knowing a lot about snakes, I thought I could learn how to catch snakes, which I did and I'm still doing. And I, I just want to help people get the snakes out of their houses because it can be a big potential risk. And another thing for the last question is, um, I didn't want people to kill snakes. I wanted to be a contributor of people not killing snakes and me being able to get the snake out of their house safely instead of having the snake killed. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe for more snake and animal content every Monday and every Friday and I will see you next time. Artlist.io